Here we are back again on the European battlefield. We have a problem right here. Right, right there. There are 12,000, almost 13,000 Austrians squatting in Moravia. Meanwhile, there's 14,000 other dudes squatting everywhere else. And 12,000 lost uh, Palatine soldiers just running around randomly. Ruining the war and all the nice strategies I create in my head without telling them So I'm currently considering Recruiting like Seven more dudes As we can see here that's my force limit. Well no, Okay, well six more dudes then, but that's my force limit it will also mean I outnumber these guys very marginally and if I attack them I would be ripped to shreds because the random number generator hates me. Or possibly my leader is crap. Uh, yes he is. He is very crap. Very very crap. wonder if I can get a better one. I don't have very good military tradition there, but maybe maybe it'll be better than the stupid king. Doesn't know how to do anything. It would be nice if it didn't die too, because that would just be bad. I'd get a regency council for a one-year-old or zero-year-old even. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna be uh, getting some loans, I'm afraid. I know, I know how what we think about loans, but we're gonna need to do something. Don't have any advisors, so we're not paying for them at least. Two more, three more. Four more. Not alone. Not alone. We're still making money. At least until these are built and our maintenance skyrockets. We can also maybe, we're gonna reduce this twice and then we're gonna raise our war taxes which will lower our military maintenance. That's, yeah. I'm just hoping to keep the uh, economy alive long enough to not be crushed into tiny little pieces by Austria. Also, it would be very nice if you would just sign a freaking white piece. Yeah, you're not gonna give away our territory in this peace deal, the Palatinate. If you wanna give away territory, you're gonna give away your own territory. Also, I've changed my mind. You come back. I'm gonna try to see if I can get like a separate piece or something. That's gonna be really bad, but I'm gonna try. They will not take a white piece. The war score is nothing. Will you take a white piece? No. Junior partners cannot negotiate bullcrap. We're gonna get another soldier to there. Now I think we've maxed out our our force limit. Here we go. Lots of reinforcements. 
we're gonna be just above their strength. Ottoman declares war on Iraq. Wonder what they're looking for. Well, we already knew Brandenburg were dishonorable scum, so that's fine. Here we go. Two more units and then we're maxed out. We're still making money, but we are doing war taxes, so that's not entirely representative of the truth. And we have a boundary dispute. We can settle the issue and lose stability. I would rather shoot myself in the head with a rusty crowbar. How you do that, I'm not sure, but it will probably be very painful. The lack of good maps or tools to create accurate maps would occasionally lead to overlapping claims of authority in border regions. These disputes were usually over very marginal areas, but could serve as a point of friction when monarchs decided to press the issue. We will gain a claim on Bamberg, which is part of Saxony. Press the issue! And the peasants are getting uppity. We can lose some administrative power to enforce serfdom. At times when peasants experience harsh subjugation, some of them would turn against their landlords demanding better treatment and conditions, which is fair, honestly. So, administrative power or legitimacy? Legitimacy is really pretty. Administrative power is as well. We're getting six per month. That will be like four and a tiny bit months. So let's just enforce the serfdom. And we got a castle spell eye on Saxony. So we now have a claim. That might be something we could press. Something we could go to war over this. Especially if... Um, well, they're allied with Austria and part of the Empire and all that jazz. But if we could bring Denmark in as an ally, assuming Denmark isn't murdered by everyone they're at war with. Which they don't seem to be. No, they've, they've peaced out. They've peaced out. I missed that. Here. Brandenburg accepted peace with Denmark. Okay, let's see. Brandenburg renounces their claim on Rupin. Brandenburg will give Korkuban to Crimea. Hang on. Crimea's over here. That's Kuban. What the heck were Brandenburg doing ha owning this thing? They will also give Kord Manik to Golden Horde. What the heck has... I'm not even sure where the Golden Horde is. They're there. There's gotta be this thing that we can't see or this... What have Brandenburg been doing? They will give Kasimov to the Golden Horde. Simbirsk to Kazan. Lower Don to Crimea. Uh, but, uh, Saratov to Kazan. This is crazy. Annul all treaties with Poland and pay 50 ducats. So it appears Brandenburg has had a huge swath of territory over here for some reason at some point. The only thing I can see is that they made some kind of royal marriage with someone over here and then inherited all that. Because that's freaking crazy. I can't see a way of them, like, going down here and seizing territory. That, that's far-fetched. Okay, well, Denmark seems to be going f nicely. They're good. Good for them. Okay, so here's my army of doom. Now, big question. 
Whose doom is that army of? <sighs> They're fighting over there. Oh! Hehe. <laughs> Good going. Help your enemies fight off the rebels. And kill yourself in the process. Okay. Hang on, hang on. Are you better? You better or worse? Increased movement speed of him not very useful. Better fire. It's the same shock. We're better at sieging. Whatever help that'll be on the battlefield, I'm not sure. Well, it's better overall, so we'll go for him. I think it's better overall. And he's not our king, so we won't die tragically on the battlefield. Okay. Moment of truth, do or die. We got one good starting roll, and then we're rolling zeros on the nine. Oh no, no, no! Damn it! That was so close, and we're fleeing to the other side of the country. Crap, if I had one more soldier, they have no morale. If I only had a second army. Well, uh, yeah, of course Poland is fabricating claims on everything. Everyone's fabricating claims on everything. But we all know the uh, the motto and creed of Bohemia. We never know when to give up. Tyrol declared war on Ulm. Tyrol, good going. Fight our enemies for us. Palatinate's over there. They've liberated that, and they're sieging there. Thuringia allied with Salzburg, that's fine. We're fighting them both. Salzburg allied with Ulm, we're fighting them both anyway. And the Hansa allied with Thuringia, please don't drag them in, that would be annoying. Meanwhile, we're stuck fighting Austria. War the Emperor because the Palatinate are bitches. Refuses to vote for me. They only vote for themselves and Lithuania controls the pop. I'm gonna guess that we're almost roughly, probably not at all, the same level of morale. I, I guess I'll wait for like one day. Attack on October 1st, I should. We should both have gotten one tick of morale and reinforcements. It's um, destiny and throw of the dice and all that stuff. And we got murdered. Come on, murder us quicker. We don't have time for this. There we go. How's my war exhaustion doing, you think? Oh, it's only five. Damn it. And my diplomatic power is vanishing. Disappearing. I could increase my thing. Does positive stability give me morale? It does not. It gives me tax money. Tax money is good, but not really useful right now. Bohemian peasants. I could throw my military might around. Get rid of that revolt risk. I think I will. Can't really deal with that right now. I'm not gonna be able to 
chase them out without a full army. Can I even get a full army? Just about. Might have to do something rash. Bohemia stopped improving our relations. The Palatinate. Okay. Back here. You go there and we get a new one to return. And damn it all. Naples enter the military alliance. Why is everyone allying with everyone? How can you have three gajillion allies? Can that last dude return three days? He'll arrive on the 13th of November. I'll arrive after that and be murdered. Okay, it's time to do those rash deci decisions, I think. Uh, how much do you cost? 18. Being crazy with the loans because I don't know what else to do. I am getting mercenaries and they will murder my economy. Okay. Hey, where the heck are you going? Why are you stupid damn bloody people things? 22nd of November, 15th of November. I have decided to create a second moment of truth. This is the age of discontent. No, we're heck is over. I will come see defeat. No, okay. Oh, crap! You can get my trade power. I don't need it. And become your freaking vessel, not even that. Here, I'll give you everything. No, hang on, hang on, this is the wrong way around. Offer tribute. I'll concede defeat. No, I'll give you my trade power, you don't even want that. I'll concede defeat. I'll give you all the things. Have some money. I don't have any, but you can have whatever I have. Oh, oh, oh. They'll piece us out for 40 gold. However, that will mean basically stabbing the Palatinate in the back. And as you might have remembered, Hungary has a negative 69 modifier with us for dishonoring an alliance that's decreasing by 0.7 per year, so it'll take a hundred years for him to forget about it. I don't know what will happen if we stab the Palatinate in the back, but I don't think they'll be happy. For some reason. Hmm. Well, hopefully, this being unchecked means the Palatinate can't give away Moravia on our behalf. And we'll be waiting for the Austrians to murder our faces in Oberlautzitz. Oh! Come on! It's a die roll! How can we roll a zero on a die roll and they roll a seven? Come on! Why are my die rolls always 
dreadful stability increase. Uh, thank you. Our decision to give more power to local magnates has ensured that people of importance feel good about our government. So they have been telling everyone else how well they are being governed. Stability increase. Now that doesn't matter because we're getting a victory. Victory! We won! Victory is ours! I have no idea how we pulled that off but we pulled it off and now we're gonna pull our troops and we're gonna follow. Chase the evil, 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 extremely evil Austrians out of our nation and land and country and everything else. We can't move though because we have no morale but our mercenaries can move. A little bit. Good thing we got those. We'll send them there. Go to Moravia. It's possible that the dudes will stop there. And uh, we're actually going to this, I think. If these dudes die, they're mercenaries, we don't care. It'll be less less salaries for them. Less money to pay them if they die. So that's a good thing. Oh. They're leaving even further, okay. They're going to Ostmacht. Now, the question is, do they retreat here as like the closest of their province or will they like retreat down to Istria or something because that's as far away as they can get. Let's hope they'll go all the way to Istria and just let them leave. Yes, that's right. Bugger off. They might just stop in Vienna because it's their capital. And there we go. You go down there. Join up with our horribly expensive mercenaries. How much are we paying for him? We're over the force limit and we're paying 8 trillion bucks for mercenaries. As soon as they get down here I'm gonna disband those mercenaries. <laughs> they were a lot more expensive than I expected. And we're also over the force limit. And our war exhaustion is uh, crazy high so let's uh, waste our diplomatic power on it. Because it's currently constantly increasing due to our war taxes. We could also spend some administrative power increasing our stability to get better taxation for more money. That might be an idea. Well, it's definitely an idea. It might even be a good one. It's that or saving up for Noble Republic. Tech level 7 administrative technology, which will give us an extra ID group. Which we can use to get a military idea that could help us. Quantity idea? I'm not sure that will help us very much. We're not big enough for that to like, be useful, really, I don't think. Quality might be useful. Small, strong army. Defensive might be very useful as well. Just letting us defend against the constant onslaught of everyone. Offensive, I'm not sure. Offensive would be great, actually. Aristocratic, that's like knights and stuff. And knights are a lot more... Well, cavalry is a lot more expensive than infantry. Hmm... We might go for quality. I like the quality idea. Or the idea of army quality, rather. Tolerance of heretics, elective monarchy. But we'll see. Well, I think I'm, I'm gonna save them for now. We Hang on. 
Isn't there supposed to be like an enemy army here somewhere? Where's the Ulmians? They've been there, and then they disappeared. Did you kill them? You can't have killed them, you're over here. Are they hiding in bottom? No, there's rebels in bottom. Did you go down to Constance? Tyrol is attacking there, that would be awesome. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And these dudes will be disbanded right now. Go away. Positive cash balance. Thank you. Platinate, could you just give up this war, please? Would be really helpful for my sanity and continued survival. Okay. I'm at war with the Emperor, I'm not allowed to declare war on other people in the Emperor Empire. Damn it. Damn it! I weren't going to declare war on them now, I just wanted to see if like... I want to know if the Palatinate would join me against them. I would also like to ally with Denmark and maybe have them join. Because if I'm allied with Denmark, it feels like uh, an Austrian Empire Emperor isn't as scary anymore. It also seems to me like every freaking Austrian province in the world is being sieged by someone. Peasants, peasants, no peasants. They got a peasant revolt going on. That's awesome. Go peasants. Oh, what the heck are you doing, Palatinate? Trier, Würzburg, Württemberg, Augsburg, and Switzerland. You better damn not have started this war. I don't think they can due to that can't declare war on the Empire while at war with the Emperor thing. So that we're, we're being backstabbed. And we have no allies. This is a defensive war, we need to help our ally. Fine. Okay, so let's see. Who's left? Who were these? Well, we're not at war with Brandenburg or Poland. I guess those could be the next ones. Let's find out. <laughs> 